to this week's segment of Spreading Aloha Through Music. Now, everyone's been requesting, hey, let's do that shop tour, the virtual tour. So we thought, perfect opportunity for us to share with you a little bit about what happens here in our milling department today, and we'll go ahead and discuss about our assembly, finishing, and final setup departments in the weeks to come. But for this week, our segment is on our milling department. Now, of course, in milling, it's typically loud, noisy, dusty. It's the brawny side of building an ukulele, where we're going to get this big dimensional lumber, and it's going to become a component on the ukulele, whether it's going to be the front of the ukulele, the back, the sides, the neck, fingerboard, bridge, all of the bracing. All of those different components are going to go through our milling department and eventually become a component to the ukulele. Now, if you ask me 10 years ago, hey Joe, why are you running around the shop with a little memory stick? I would say, I don't know, maybe for our Word document or maybe for our Excel spreadsheets. But in actuality, everything is in programming nowadays as a modern day builder. Now, I'm not saying we weren't building great instruments five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. We were. We were building the best instrument we could with the knowledge that we had at the time. Well, here we are as a modern day builder. And in our milling department, we're able to employ technology and use it to our benefit. So just to the right of me here, this is our CNC machine. Now CNC, of course, is short for Computer Numerically Controlled. And what happens on our CNC machine is, this is where we cut the neck, the fingerboard, the bridge of the instrument, and all of the other wood components that will ultimately become a part of the ukulele. It can start right here on our CNC machine. Another key tool for us here in our milling department is our resaw. It's a horizontal resaw, and what we do is we'll load up big cans of coal wood that is like a beam of coal wood that we'll be able to slice and be able to create what we call a set off of the wood that gets sliced here on the bandsaw. Now, the bandsaw is very accurate, of course it's very safe, and it allows us to identify each workpiece or each slice that comes off of the bandsaw to create our book matching, where we're able to then, of course, create the front, the back, and the sides of the ukulele off of our book matching steps to basically give a nice uniform look to the ukulele once it's completed. Welcome back, everyone. I wanted to introduce to you Frank Portness. Frank is our lead technician here in our milling department. And Frank is, of course, a very passionate individual about coal wood and rosewood, ebony, and some of these exotic woods that we get to use. But nothing could be actually hearing from Frank what he thinks on his job. So Frank, what would you consider for us, you know, as far as the logs that we're cutting with and the wood that we're working with now, what are some of the uh, up-to-date logs that we're working with? Um, this last week we cut the uh, 77A, which um, was a one, uh, one grade, mm -hmm. and uh, a 80, log 80, which was a uh, super pro. Uh, we didn't know it was that one, so, so uh, can't be good. Awesome, so log 80 gave us some beautiful grade. Yeah, you can tell right when you grabbed it, you know, when you stuck it through that saw and the yeah. and started running it through. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Can't wait to do it now. Cool. Log 80, everyone. Uh, also, Frank, you know, knowing that you do so many wonderful things here in our milling department, you know, throughout your day, what is some of your favorite things that you encounter? Uh, my favorite thing is probably to do the book matching. Uh, uh, I like to use the CNC because uh, I can just put the things on the CNC, let it go, and continue doing something else. So that CNC is very helpful um, to us, especially doing the next. Um, I can lay a bunch of, I can lay like 10 fret boards, let it go, um, do my sanding on the bodies uh, and the sides and head stop. So I think, um, I don't know, I don't know the CNC is good. Uh, yeah. uh, my book matching here is good, but I think I like the book matching better. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that we were talking about how, you know, sometimes when you're thickness sanding yeah. and, you know, this prized curly grain that we're so fortunate to work with on the pole, you know, reveals itself while we're right at the fitness center. It's right. kind of like uh, opening a present on Christmas morning. Oh Lord, yeah, right? yeah, of course, man. Because you can't really tell them until you actually start sanding it. And um, as soon as you get to the 60 grit, you can see it's the 
very little, but as soon as you hit the 150, it's very fancy uh, where you can start seeing the reveals of the pearl or the non pearl or some of the little pearls. It can be great and easier for me once I get to that uh, uh, 150 point. Perfect. You know? Right on. Well, of course, this is Frank. Brother Frank gets to work with some of the most beautiful stuff. Cool. All right.